Hello friends and welcome to another video tutorial by geeks for geeks In this video, we'll see how to find the closest pair from two sorted arrays. The problem statement says that, given two sorted arrays and a number x, find the pair whose sum is closest to x such that the pair has one element from each array. In other words, we are given two arrays, ar1 and ar2, and a number x. We need to find the pair ar1 of i and ar2 of j such that the absolute value of ar1 of i plus ar2 of j minus x is minimum. The example will help you understand better. We are given these two arrays and x is 32. We need to find a pair with one element from both ar1 and ar2 such that their sum is closest to x. Now, if we pick 1 from ar1 and 30 from, from ar2, their sum is 31, which is the closest to 32. You can pick any other pair and see for yourself. Similarly, in the second example where x is 50, 7 and 40 are the pair whose sum is closest to 50. Let's look at our first solution, which is a much simpler approach. Use two loops. The outer loop iterates over all elements of first array and the inner loop iterates over elements in the second array. We consider every possible pair and keep track of the minimum distance between their sum and x. The time complexity of the solution will be big O of n square. Solution 2 is more optimal. The idea is to start from the left side of one array and the right side of another. We'll use the algorithm below. We keep a variable diff to store the minimum difference between the sum and x. Initially, dim will be, diff will be infinite. We initialize L to the beginning of AR1, that is, L equal to 0 and r at the end of second array, that is, r equal to n minus 1. Note that m and n are the sizes of the two arrays, ar1 and ar2 respectively. Now, loop while l is less than the size of array 1 and r hasn't reached the beginning of array 2. We see, if the difference between the sum of two elements and the x and x is less than the current value of diff, then we update diff. Result stores the pair which has the sum closest to x. Basically, we need to keep storing the minimum difference in D. Now, check if the sum of the two elements at Lth and Rth position was less than x. If so, then do L++. That is, move L to the next position of AR1. And in case the sum was more than x, then we do R minus minus. That is, we move R to the previous index of AR2. When the loop ends, we print the result. Let's try to see the working of solution 2 with an example. We are given these two arrays and x is 38. Diff is infinite initially. L is at starting of AR1 and R is at end of AR2. Now, sum of elements at position L and R is 41. The difference between the sum and x is 3, which is less than the current value of diff, which was infinite. So, diff becomes 3. Also, the sum 41 is more than x. So, according to the algo we saw earlier, we do r minus minus. So, now r is at 30 and, the, and diff is 3 right now. Now, sum is 31 and difference between the sum and x is 7. Variable diff already has a lesser value, so, need, so no need of updating it. Now, since the sum 31 is less than x, we do L++. Now, L is at 4, sum is 34, and difference is 4. No need to update diff again. Also, sum is less than x, so L++. L is at 5 now, sum becomes 35, and difference is now 3. But, since diff is already 3, we need not update diff now. Also, 35 is less than x, so again, L++. Now, L is at 7, sum is 37. And the difference of sum and x is 1, which is less than the current value of diff. So, diff becomes 1 and the new closest pair is 7 and 30. Now, L has reached the end of array 1 and hence, we've reached the terminating condition of the loop. The result gets printed now. Let's try to understand the code now. Having seen the algo and working already, this should be a piece of cake. 
The two arrays are initialized here and next stores the value to which we must find the pair with closest sum. Call the function print closest. Def is infinite at the start. The two result variables will store the elements whose sum is closest to x. L and R are positioned at the beginning of AR1 and at the end of AR2 respectively. The loop runs while L is less than the size of array 1 and R hasn't reached the, si reached the start of array 2. Now, we check if the difference between the sum and x is lower than the current minimum difference. If so, we update diff and store the pair in result variables. Now, we check if the sum was more than x, we do R minus minus and L plus plus otherwise, as explained earlier. The pair with the minimum difference gets printed at the end. The time complexity of the solution is big O of n, since we found the closest pair in a single pass. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave us your comments.